morning, everybody, and it is Sunday morning. And a couple of you have been asking about decorating for New Year's. And I thought, why not film a little video of that? I don't overdo it, but I just do a couple little things around the house. So this is gonna be an easy video um, where I'm just gonna show you a couple of things that I've picked up, um, as well as some things that I will do around the home um, to jazz it up for New Year's. The first place you have to hit up is your dollar store at Target. So this is super high quality. Like the cardboard is really thick and heavy. It was $3. And I already had the hooks up um, in my window for Christmas, so I just hung it right across the window. And then they also had over here where like the wine and everything is, they had this really, really cute one as well that says Pop Fizz Clink. I just think it's really adorable. Then honestly, this is the easiest thing you could ever do. Um, I keep them in a file folder so that I can save them each year. But online, I don't know if I bought these on Etsy. I really think I just found uh, little printables online. I got like these cheers, these clocks, um, this one says, this will be the best year yet. Um, more little midnight clocks. And I just cut them out on cardstock. I have little quotes. This one has like resolutions on it. This one just says, happy new year. Here's another like cheers circle. This one just says, happy new year. More of these little cheers things. New Year's hat, another clock, a little camera, but they're super simple. I'm going to quickly insert some pictures of how I've used them in the past. Like these are two years old at least because I don't think I decorated it all last year. I also thought we'd go raid the Target dollar bin one more time to see if we can find anything else and then we'll come back and decorate for New Year's. And like I said, this is fast, this is easy and it still looks really great. I'm now totally in love with the Golden Goose shoes. Um, yeah, I love them. They're super, super comfortable. I just needed to give them a try with a real outfit instead of trying them on with pajama pants. I am home from Target. All that I picked up were these two garlands to add, um, and then, uh, I also got these little paper fans, which I can save for a Christmas tree, um, some candles that I needed, some napkins, and now, oh, I also picked up these, like, vases. I'm not sure how I feel about them. I'm just gonna let them sit here for a day and make a decision if I like them. I'm not sure yet. I think if those trees weren't in the background, I'd like them more. I just can't decide, and now, I'm whipping up some lunch. So I have all these extra vegetables from when my parents were here. So I'm just going to try to get through them. So I put a little avocado oil in the pan. We're just gonna make this up today. Um, I'm also gonna put some of these peppers in there. Also, it just feels good to eat some healthy vegetables. I should have sliced those peppers up a little bit more. All right, let's just do some pepper, some salt, garlic powder, a little onion powder. All right, I'm just going to let that cook and munch on these cucumbers while I get everything else put away. I also drained a can of chickpeas. I'm not gonna use the whole can. Use about half of it and then save the rest. Also going to hit this with a little sriracha. I also prepped a bunch of red quinoa that we had in the pantry um, just for lunches this week. I will make these bowls since I'm home. And I'm just gonna put like a little bed of quinoa, throw this in the microwave, top it with the vegetables and chickpeas, and that will be my lunch. I love doing these bowls because literally it is the easiest thing for like a week of meals. This is also a great way to get through all those veggie trays that you guys are all dealing with right now. I'm gonna let those continue to cook on low really quick. I'm gonna go put on some comfortable clothes so we can get decorating after I eat. I think these are going back. I don't love them. I do love that tall one if I can find the place for it, but I don't love the combo. I 
All right, I'm gonna top mine with just a little bit more sriracha. Look how beautiful that looks though. It's gonna be a great filling lunch. Um, got the protein from the chickpeas and the quinoa. Got some great vegetables in there, lots of color. Steven got a big time Amazon delivery. A cord cover. A cord cover for the TV. Because we're mounting a TV in my office. And my chain for my chainsaw. Wow. So, well this is particularly interested in the chainsaw. I'm gonna cut down all the things. All the trees he pees on, he's gonna cut down. Yes, and then put them in a museum. It's a good boy. What else did you get? Um, you told me to get uh, Prosecco. What is that beef thing? I don't know. I think it's like, did you have something in the washer or dryer? I don't think so. Um, I got Prosecco, uh, amongst other Prosecco. Ones. Prosecco. Um, for New Year's. It's like coupon all over again. Well, I did get a rebate, so I don't know this rebate form. Oh, he loves a rebate. Also, Steven really likes the vases. I do like the vases. I Maybe I need to see them like once, like the islands cleared off and all the things. Mm. I'll give them a try. I kept the receipt. Bubby, do you like the vases? Looky, up here. Do you like them? Yes, they're beautiful. Keep them. You're like the Genevieve Gorder of dogs. And Steven keeps hearing beeping. Is it, uh... Is it the dishwasher? It's the dishwasher. Yes. That's what it is. The dishwasher's done. I thought you were having a neurological episode. No, I put that here in the beeping. Yeah. I have to the dishwasher. I hung one of the garlands I picked up at Target. And now I'm going to use these paper fans. A, let me just tell you the quality of these is incredible. They're so nice. They Velcro together. They're in the party section. They're not New Year's specific. Um, I'm going to find ways to reuse these over and over. So I'm going to keep the string attached and just keep that in the back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scatter them around this um, using some painter's tape. Okay, so I have those hanging. I love how that looks. I might even put a little party hat on the deer. I found this garland that is white and gold, so I'm going to put that on this window. I hung this white with little flecks of gold pom-pom here, and now I'm just going to surround the window with a couple of these pieces. For this window, I'm just using regular scotch tape. Here's my tip. Put the scotch tape in the location so that when you want to like angle something, you can and the tape will be in the right spot. Look how cute that is. It's so simple, but looks so fun and festive. So we have the fireplace done. We have this done. We have above the sink done. I'm gonna do a little bit more over here and then we're gonna call it a day. For about $20, I decorated the entire house. When you are in the kitchen, you see these really cute signs that I just printed out. Now I'm telling you, I've had these for two years at least. Um, so I don't know exactly where I got them, but you can find any theme you want. And you can also buy printable sets on Etsy. If I find any, I'll link them down below. Already talked about that 2020 banner that I picked up at Target. It was $3 in the dollar bin. Then above the fridge, I have the two clocks as well. When you are standing where are like wine fridges and all of that, I have signs there, that little pop fizz clink bunting, and then just some hats. There are three there, one for Steven, one for Bubba's, and one for me. But like, it's so simple, but it makes like a decent impact, especially when you see it combined with everything. It makes me so happy. Then, over here is probably my favorite section. That little pom-pom garland I've had for ages. It's white with a little bit of gold in it, so it was perfect for this. And then I just had more cutouts on cardstock. And then this is also one of my favorite parts. So normally I have succulents in there or um, Christmas ornaments at Christmas time. I just took three of the extra party hats and put them in these little, I don't know what they're called, containers. Then when you come into the living room, I did the fireplace very simply with just a set of $5 paper fans and a garland that was a couple dollars at Target. What I love about this one is the tassels aren't fixed, so you actually have a little space to move them around. 
and get them even. But yeah, it just looks really cool. I also had some leftover stuff. So I did the entryway table too. Oh, and can we just once more admire this tree? My goal today was just to get you a video around simple New Year's decorating, and I think that was accomplished, and we shared a recipe along the way. Tomorrow I will be filming my What I Got For Christmas video. Super excited to share it with you. I think you're gonna get a ton of great gift ideas for the upcoming year because I'm telling you, I'm thrilled with everything that I got. I will sign off this video like I sign off all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Let's make it a great 2020, my friends. Talk to you soon, bye-bye.